Hey, it's Monique again from Lost Nation Homestead, and today I'm going to be unboxing a cylinder stove I bought on Amazon. All right, so this is an Alpine Camp Chef uh, cylinder stove that I got off Amazon. We're going to be building this inside today. It's about 25 degrees out, and we have a couple feet of snow out there, so I'm just going to get it set up in here, and then we're going to take it out and cure it later this afternoon or this evening. Now, this is set up so that uh, the legs and everything are adjustable on it, and everything that comes with it, the pipe and everything, uh, is designed to fit inside the stove so that when you're storing it or if you're going to take it out, um, you know, camping, everything fits inside the stove. It's pretty convenient. The adjustable legs. So these are racks that go on the side for like drying clothes or it could just be an extended work surface. Alright, so we can leave that as the pipe. We're going to leave that in the package. We'll wait till we get outside and put that together. So the only other thing I bought to set this up is I got some uh, heat resistant tape for the stove pipe so I can just make sure I don't have any leaks. Is the fire great? Here's a thing. This is this goes on top of the stove pipe. It takes your ashes or the spinning ashes come out. They don't light a fire outside of the stove. Okay, and it came with a, a damper. Um, so we're gonna put that right in, and it's supposed to have pre-drilled holes in the the stove pipe for the damper. All right, so we gotta flip it upside down. Let's lock the door. Excuse me. Can I lock it? All right, so we're gonna flip it over here. You wanna take these out of the plastic for me? Okay. Careful, because they're gonna fall. They're all not hooked together anymore. They're made to be portable and you can use them for camping. You can use them in yurts or canvas tents. Um, I got mine for a couple reasons. One is as a backup source of heat uh, in case of emergency. We have a wood fired boiler but the pump to circulate the hot water is electric so when we lose electricity we lose our heat. So I've seen guys hook up a piece of plywood in a window, vent the pipe out through a hole in the plywood and be able to cook in heat a room or two rooms in their house um, when, in times when they don't have power. All right, so I don't know if you can see in there, five inch damper in there.
Alright, so the, the whole point in curing this is to get the paint um, the paint cured. It's not burning off the paint, it's just getting it set into the cast iron. You want to burn off any smell. You want to do this outside if you can. Um, it's better not to do this inside. You'll notice afterwards that the paint won't be as shiny. It'll be more of a dull color. All right, so we've got a damper on the front as well. Just slide it, open it up, close it, open a little bit. So to cure this, you want to do it for a couple hours but with a nice uh, low, even heat. You don't want to get this cherry hot or anything like that while you're curing it. Um, that seems to be going pretty good. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are thinking about adding an emergency stove or a camp stove to your list of uh, tools you have on hand, um, visit my Amazon store. I have a link down below um, for this stove that we got. If you haven't yet, please take a moment to subscribe and share our videos. Uh, we, we greatly appreciate it. That's the biggest way you can support our channel is to uh, watch and, and share. Uh, take care. We'll see you next time.